Steve Foster here. Welcome to another episode of Legends of the Highway. Today's feature car is a 1978 Pontiac Trans Am. This car is significant for a number of reasons. One, it was made famous by Burt Reynolds and Sally Fields in the Smokey and the Bandit movies, where these Bandit Edition Trans Ams ran across the country being chased by Jackie Gleason and a bevy of police vehicles as they attempted to run support for a big rig transporting illegal beer. So when that happened, Pontiac actually gave Burt Reynolds a Trans Am every year for many years after the filming of the movie. And during that time, because of the big screen exposure and because it was a cool car, these Trans Ams, especially black with the gold trim, became iconic uh, examples of American Americana hot rods and muscle cars. This particular car is significant because one, it's a 78, two, it's black with the gold trim, but the gentleman that originally owned this car purchased it and checked all the boxes to make this as high a performance of a Pontiac vehicle as you could do in 1978, which of course was right in the middle of the smog era. So he ordered the Pontiac 400 engine as opposed to the Oldsmobile motor. He ordered the WS6 with the wide wheels, the extra uh, beefy suspension. He also, which is unusual, ordered it with no T-tops. Most of these had T-tops, but he didn't want the flexibility issues with the T-tops, so he ordered the hard top. He ordered it with a four-speed, manual windows, no air conditioning, which is also unusual because he wanted it as light as weight as possible and as stiff a platform as possible. The other thing that was really cool about the original owner of this car is that he was a Skunk Works engineer for an aerospace firm. And so he had access to all kinds of his fellow engineers and equipment, and welding devices and so forth to do his own personal touches on this car. Here's some of that additional aluminum bracing uh, that was used to reinforce the chassis and connect it to the firewall to reduce chassis flex on this particular example. These pieces were fabricated in, in the uh, Aerospace Skunk Works, uh, TIG welded, carefully matched to this particular vehicle, one on each side. He also had an extra brace attached to the strut on this side to brace the uh, braking master cylinder. Here's the aluminum uh, cover and mount for the uh, heavy duty radiator. Couple other little uh, pieces that he had fabricated at the shop. Here's the uh, remote cooling system, the Oberg filter, which is a super fine mesh screen that allows for far better filtration than you would normally find in a canister air filter. The scoop, while it's the original Pontiac scoop, has fabricated mounts so that it's hard mounted to the engine with these screws here, and then the, the uh, door flap to the scoop is operated via a solenoid and a switch on the dashboard. So there's a number of really cool extras on this vehicle, uh, including the electric fan so that it always runs cool. Although it looks factory, there's a couple of these nice touches here that add to the performance and the appeal of this Trans Am. When we look to the interior, although that's the factory Hurst shifter, it's been shortened, re-welded, and right next to it at the lower right, you'll see the custom reverse lockout that was constructed by the original owner to provide that feature on this Trans Am. These are aftermarket Recaros that he installed in the car when it was new, a six point seat belt. There's a integrated roll bar hoop in the back to mount the harnesses. If we look to the driver's side, we can see that the factory Trans Am steering wheel has been replaced with a Momo prototypal wheel, which kind of bears a resemblance to the factory wheel, but it's a little bit smaller in diameter uh, and is wrapped with real leather. If you look at the dash, you'll see that there's an additional gauge that's been added. It looks completely factory, yet it provides a uh, transmission temperature readout, which was not originally offered. Looking to the lower right, you'll see the switch here that activates the hood scoop. So if you want the hood scoop open for additional cold air to the motor, you flip that switch and it flips right up. The interior is original except for the items that I mentioned, and you can see from the headliner to the carpet to the dash, it's in phenomenal condition for a 1978 automobile. Of course, it only has 50,000 original miles that were carefully added by the original owner. So if we look back to the trunk, it features the uh, flip down gas cap. And his attention to detail even extended to custom fabricating a locking gas cap for this vehicle. If we look inside the trunk, you see the original Space Saver Spare. He did mount the battery to the right rear, which is a well-known trick for better weight distribution for acceleration, and it's on the right-hand side, so it not only does it assist uh, acceleration, but cornering as well. One other nice little addition to this particular Trans Am is the wheels. So Pontiac created what's known as the snowflake wheel, 
which was a option on the Trans Ams for a number of years. They had this kind of latticework spokes with a contrasting gold uh, painted inserts. Now these wheels are actually a very good representation of the factory wheel, but they're in a larger 17 inch by nine inch size so that you can run modern performance rubber. So this car is able to handle the larger scale wheel and it still looks in proportion, it's still an excellent addition to the car. These are produced by year one and I think they really dress the car up and also allow you to run a bigger brake system if you choose to do so. And uh, this car really does go down the road nicely and handles very, very well indeed. So now we're gonna take the Trans Am over to the Legacy Cars and Coffee at the Tustin Mess Hall. Let's go. So here we are at the Legacy Cars and Coffee, and I'm here with the uh, founder and originator of the show, Royce Rumsey, a renowned photographer and designer, and I'll let Royce talk about his show. Well, thanks, Steve, nice to meet you. Thanks for bringing out this wonderful Trans Am. This is a really wonderful period piece here. Uh, today's theme, and this is our 20th Legacy, was bow tie and stove bolt Sunday, which car aficionados will know refers to General Motors, the most specifically the Chevrolet brand. As with all legacy events, all cars are welcome. So you'll behind it in the background, you'll see a wide variety of other vehicles. Uh, Porsches are always very popular here. So Royce, if people want to come to the Legacy Car Show, what are the details that they need to know? Well, the Legacy event is always held on the second Sunday of, of every month. It's here at, in Tustin at a thing called uh, Flight Tustin Flight. The address is 1705 Flight Way. And uh, we're just a real blessed to have a bunch of great folks with great cars. And, and the real attraction of the show is, is frankly the people. The people that come here are, are great car, car people. They're truly dedicated to, to, the, to the community and the culture of automobiles. Well, thanks so much, Royce, for hosting the show. As always, it's a pleasure to see thank you. you. Thank you much. And I hope great. you've enjoyed this episode of Legends of the Highway, and we'll see you next time.